to our service of worship for this Sunday, June 28, 2020, the fourth Sunday after Pentecost. Welcome, my name is Mary Kelly and I'm here as always with my good friend Andrew Van Verick, our organist and choir director. And today we are coming to you from the sanctuary of Central Park United Methodist Church in the city of Buffalo. As we begin our time together today, I'd like to share with you from Psalm 13, our invocation. How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I bear pain in my soul and have sorrow in my heart all day long? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and answer me, O Lord my God. Give light to my eyes, or I will sleep the sleep of death, and my enemy will say I have prevailed. My foes will rejoice because I am shaken. But I trusted in your steadfast love, my heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with me. leads to 
righteousness. But thanks be to God that you, having once been slaves of sin, have become obedient from the heart to the form of teaching to which you were entrusted, and that you, having been set free from sin, have become slaves of righteousness. I am speaking in human terms because of your natural limitations. For just as you once presented your members as slaves to impurity <coughs> and to greater and greater iniquity, so now present your members as slaves to righteousness for sanctification. When you were slaves of sin, you were free in regard to righteousness. So what advantage did you then get from the things of which you are now ashamed? The end of those things is death. But now that you have been freed from sin and enslaved to God, the advantage you get is sanctification. The end is eternal life. For the wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus, our Lord.
Life is hard. And life as of late has been harder for many of us than we have ever experienced. All day long it seems that things are difficult. The easiest of tasks that we used to accomplish quickly and efficiently have become a chore, in many cases a burden, and many of us have lost our joy, if only for a time. Beloved, I understand all of these things all too well, and I know how easy it is to look around us and despair, but I want you to take heart, because things are not as bad as we seem to think that they are. For we have one another, and we have a Lord who calls us to his side. We have a God who loves us and cares for us, in spite of all of the sins that we have ever done in our lives. God still loves us. Jesus still calls us. Jesus wants for us to live lives that are righteous, lives that are abundant in love. Jesus calls us to commit ourselves as disciples to love God and to love one another. Now, on days when things are not going well, it is often difficult for us to feel that love for neighbor, especially when people seem to be acting out and acting in ways that often disappoint us. But the good news is that each one of us, no matter the sin, is worthy of the love and forgiveness that we find in Jesus, that he offers to us freely because of the gift of grace. Paul's letter to the Roman talks in depth about this gift of grace, how this grace is unmerited, how we don't have to do anything at all in order for God to love us but simply to pledge our hearts to him. I urge you, my friends, to find the quiet moments in your life where you can allow this process of sanctification to change your heart, to warm the depths of your soul, to feel God's love and God's mercy and God's forgiving touch in your own life. That your heart might be renewed and that your life might be lived in joy and commitment to the gospel of Jesus our Lord. The wages of sin truly are death. But belief in Jesus Christ frees us from the bonds of death and allows us to become the people, the men and the women, the human beings that God intends for us to be. Yes, life is hard, but belief in Jesus is easy. Find a way to be quiet, to be centered, and to allow the living Christ to renew your heart and lift your spirits high. Now may Almighty God have mercy on you. Forgive all of your sins through the Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life.